Happy Saturday, everybody. Welcome to another installment of Home Solutions. Dennis Purvis with you, as always. Hope you're having a wonderful Saturday morning. I uh, hope you've had a good week here. We got some rain here this week that we desperately needed. I uh, hope you uh, hope you got a lot on your plate today. Maybe you're uh, maybe you're relaxing from a week of work and getting ready for uh, school coming up here in just a few weeks. That's right, folks. Summer's almost over, um, and uh, maybe you're out running around today, getting ready to start your honeydew list, get some things done around the house, and that's what we're here for. The local area's only uh, home and garden show right here on Mix 104.1 and 101.3 The Buzz. And as always, we're brought to you by Pro 93 Home Solutions. And normally I would do a shameless plug here and tell you about where your favorite local general contractor to ever handle everything in your house from uh, building a new home all the way to just uh, room remodels, renovations, additions, uh, basements, kitchens, baths, whatever it is, we would love to talk to you about your project. But instead of going all into that, we're going to talk about Pro 93 today and a couple different things. And I've got some guys here uh, that we're going to that, that's going to talk with me today here in studio. Um, so first of all, let me welcome my uh, my business partner, co-owner of Pro 93, Jesse Matthews. Thanks for being allowing me to be here. Yeah, well, good. Thank and you. It, it, by the way, his nickname is Colonel Sanders. For more on that, just uh, reach out; he'll tell you. Call us at four five eight forty one thirty five, and we'll explain. That nickname. And our estimator in chief, Chris Planks, here with us today. How you doing, brother? Great, 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 great. Thanks for being here. Coming all the way down from Meigs County to be with us today. Made made the trek into the big city. Yeah. Um, so today what we want to talk about is probably the one of the things that has probably been our most uh, numerous calls that we've received, the estimates we've done lately. And, and we're going to talk a little bit about why that's happening why we think it's high, I mean, it's purely anecdotal, but uh, we want to talk about creating more living space in your home, uh, whether it is finishing out a garage, finishing out a basement that's not finished to make apartment or more living space or media room um, at, and additions. You know, you're, you're gonna just going to build on. You've got, you've got plenty of room on your property uh, to build on an addition to create more living space. And it seems like, and you guys can back me up on this, it seems like we're getting more and more calls of those. And that seems to be now the projects we've got lined up here into the fall primarily are these kinds of projects. Um, Jesse, what are you seeing out there that's that, that you think is driving this, I guess, need to, 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 to increase, increase the value in uh, living space of where folks are already at? Well, the big thing that I see is uh, real estate market um, has increased in, in um, their sales. Yeah. Um, Prices of homes are a whole lot higher. So even though someone can get a good price for their house, then they don't know where to go. Yeah. They don't have anywhere to go. Uh, inventory is probably low. I'm not a real estate agent, but I can understand real estate's low. Uh, trying to find a new property to go to is low. So what better way than just to add on to your house? Um, you've got extra space. You want to convert um, an area to a new bathroom, new master bedroom, kind of um, just do an add-on. Um, and I think when you said that values are growing and, and what we've seen a lot of customers and I know Chris, you can talk about this in a minute, but so many of our customers and even potential customers, when we go out to do an estimate, uh, because they're taking advantage of these higher home values, people can go to a bank and get a HELOC right mm -hmm. now at a fantastic rate, even as mortgage rates. Remember HELOCs, a home equity line of credit are not based on mortgage rates. They're based on prime. So even though mortgage rates have started to creep up, HELOCs are still a really good way. And if your values have increased on your property, and I know a few months ago we all got that, if you're in Bradley County, you got that uh, letter from Stanley Thompson for the uh, annual recalculation of your value for your taxes, all of our values went up. Mm -hmm. So you've got, a lot of people have a lot of spending power and borrowing power mm -hmm. to be able to not have to come out of pocket and save up and get an, and a HELOC is nice because it's interest only. It's revolving. You can pay it down. You can use it again. Uh, you can you can get it and not take anything from it for a while if you want. It's it's, it's an opportunity. It's a credit line. Chris, what are you? I know uh, you, because you come back to us. But what are customers out there saying when you're? You know, we talk to them on the front end, but when you're actually out there, what are you seeing as some of the driving forces and people that are that are wanting to do these kind of projects? I think it's because how much the, the housing market, how much new houses are as far as even if you go out to try to buy a house now, yeah. a house a couple of years ago, if you price it from 
five years, say even three years ago to now, it's tripled and as far as price. So a lot of them is just like, well, let's just not just stay here and add on to what we have. Yeah. And I think another one of the things that we forget a lot, it's not just it's not just uh, economic factors, but there's also a demographic factor in the sense that, um, you know, our generation and the generation right before us have parents that are getting older. Mm -hmm. And for a lot of folks, they don't want to send mom or dad to a home Mm -hmm. and they're creating space for them to have, you know, even if it's the last few years of independence, and I say that with quotes, so they can feel like they have their own space, right. but also have family close. I mean, think about how many we've done in just the last year of creating that extra living space. I would think the last eight to ten contracts that we've signed, um, I want to say like two of them or three of them have been an increase of space so that way they can bring in their their mom or their in-law or someone that's there like a mother-in-law suite add on. And then going back to the home equity line of credit, I want to say out of the 10 contracts that we've signed four or five of them are running off their lines of credit, getting a new appraisal on their house yeah. because their house is paid off or they're way, way, way low on their mortgage versus the value. So they're just increasing their line of credit. Um, and that's a great way to go in and finance a project. I mean, you go in and do a 20 to 30, 40, $50,000 project, a line of credit is the best way because it is floating on prime. Right. And it's interest only. And it's an interest only so loan. So you, you've got monthly, you're only paying for what you've used. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, so it gives you it gives you a lot of opportunity. And down the line, you sell the house or refinance and that you pay that off at closing just like you would anything else. Mm-hmm. So it's uh, it, it's a really good opportunity. And, and it, you know, so let's start there as far as, let's talk about basements. Mm-hmm. Um, and Chris, I'm going to throw this to first question to you so i know we especially with like we've talked about with parents elderly parents that are coming basements obvious obviously a lot of times have especially we have a lot of split foyers in our area we have a lot of basements that are not traditional dug-ins they're like raised um uh where up north you know it's it's everything's dug in right Uh, but if you it's got first floor access they don't have to have a deal with any steps right um, talk about when you go into an unfinished basement, what are the, what are the things that you're talking about with a customer as far as their expectations? What questions are you asking? And for those of you listening, if you're, if you've got some unfinished space in your room, maybe in your house, maybe it's a bonus room or a basement. Um, you may have these questions. So wh- what are you looking for when you go talk to a customer? <clears throat> Mainly as far as functionality, because usually like years ago, doors used to be 32, I always recommend going to a 36 so you can have wheelchair access. Yep. Um, more of an open open layout. Showers especially, handicap. Make sure. Uh, grab bars. Grab bars. Everything is in the walls because, yeah. like I said, when you was younger, you don't really think about it. Until, like, like I said, with split for your houses, when you go into a split for your house, you got a choice. Either go upstairs or downstairs. There's no in-between. But typically so, there's a there is a separate entrance to that bottom Correct. level that can solve that problem for right. if you've got folks with mobility issues. Right. Um, and so, and Chris, um, of all the things that he can do and has done, uh, he's a master plumber. So talk a little bit about, I know a lot of people get scared away from basements because a lot of them are on concrete slabs mm-hmm. and they're scared to death of the plumbing aspect. Right. Talk a little bit about things that you, that we've done that have kind of counteracted that to not, we're not, sometimes, you know, we don't have to drill into concrete no, all the time. No. Talk a little bit about what the th- options people have. Uh, you, you have the um, grinder pump toilets where it's actually, it, it forces, it has a motor on it that forces it up to your existing plumbing. So you can tie your sinks, you can sh- tie your showers, toilet, everything, so it goes up so you don't have to dig the, dig the basement out. Yeah. Which is fine. Because, I mean, if it's six foot above you, six or seven foot above you, just pump it up to the, um, mm-hmm. the drain lines and, and it goes straight out. Mm-hmm. And what about showers, baths? you got to have a drain in the, the floor. Only, so what do, you, what, what do you do on that? The only thing you do with that is actually you just have to raise it up, build a platform for a P-trap to go underneath the shower. Then it connects to the toilet. Then you're taken care of. And I can tell you, folks, we've, we have been in some projects where 
folks chose not to do the P trap. Right. Tell everybody why that's a horrible idea. Hey, it's it's a mess because you gotta <clears throat> you gotta deal with sometimes rebar in the floor. Um, then you have to channel everything out. So it's it actually doubles the price, to be honest with you. And folks, when you start dealing with any kind of drain system without a P trap, it's not just the thing P traps don't just protect what's going down. It controls what's coming back. Correct. Which means uh, if you've ever walked into someone's uh, home or and somewhere where you've got that uh, nice sewage smell, the mustiness, the, the musty septic, <laughs> the P trap controls all that gas and Correct. methane and back pressure from coming back up through the drain. Right. So understand that uh, there are ways around, and and I think, and to Chris, to your credit, and I know Jesse will back me up on this. I think. One of the things that makes you perfect for estimating is that you are creative. Right. Like Chris, Chris really, I, t we tell people when they go out to a, when they go out to a site visit, um, I said, look, Chris is coming. Cause a lot of people are like, I don't know exactly what I want. I know a few things I need, but I need some help mm -hmm. on layout. And I said, well, great. Chris is super creative. Um, you tell him what your needs are and he's going to find a way to do it. Cause you know, we want a partnership with you folks right. and we don't want to, we're not trying to hit a lick on everybody. This isn't a transaction for us. It's a relationship. We want to be back every time you've got a project in your home, not just for this one. So we're not trying to knock your head off. We want to find a way, number one, to work with your budget. We do a lot of these jobs in phases. I know we've got a couple right now. We've done some garage conversions and basement conversions where, you know, they understand they've saved some money. And here's what I have. And they'll mm -hmm. say, look, I've got 10 grand to spend. What can I do for that? Well, look, let's do phase one. Let's lay the groundwork for right. what we, let's get the infrastructure done that, because the last thing we want to do on these projects folks is have you throw good money to bad Correct. to where you're paying us to come back and do the same work twice. Right. It's, it's no difference in going to a mechanic and they tell you they got to change your timing belt. And then they got to tell you, well, we'll go ahead and change the water pump while we're there. They're doing that. So they don't have, it's the same labor for both of those jobs. So they're not charging you twice. Right. Mm -hmm. If they're already got to go down there, let's get the water pump out. We enjoy callbacks as long as it's for a different project. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We, 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 yeah, we, we don't want you, we don't want you to pay us to undo work we've already done to right. make, make progress towards what your goal is. So listen, it's, it's, uh, it's something that has become a, uh, definitely a, a need in our community. So if you're out there right now and you're driving around and you're thinking about, uh, no matter how you're listening, maybe you're in the car right now, uh, maybe you're listening at home, maybe you're streaming online, maybe you're on the Mix 1041 app and streaming through there, or maybe you're on uh, My Mix TV, uh, or we'll way I forgot everybody on Facebook land, maybe you're watching us on Facebook. If you've got questions, and maybe you're, you're weeks out because uh, let me be real honest. Right now, we are about two, two and a half months out on projects. So if you're in that position and you're starting to think about, well, maybe I want to do this, free estimates, give us a call, 458-4135. Then it's never going to cost you for Chris to come out. So you can know, we tell people, know what you're saying no to. Before you cross that off because you think it's too expensive, know what it is. Um, and like I said, we strive to work with anybody's budget, uh, whether you're working with, you've saved some money, maybe you're looking at a HELOC, maybe you've refinanced your home. We, off, we also offer third-party financing. If you go to uh, pro93homesolutions.com, we have a financing tab. It's a third-party lender. We don't get any of your personal information, don't have a dog in the race, but they specialize in 13 to 15 different <coughs> lenders that all do home improvement loans. So we're here to, we're here to help. Uh, when we come back, we've talked about kind of the basement aspect of it and some of the pitfalls there. Come back, we're going to talk about additions and what things you need to think about uh, if you're wanting to add on to your existing home. Uh, so hang in there. Don't go anywhere. Uh, we'll be back here in just a minute. You're listening to Home Solutions right here on Mix 104.1 and 101.3 The Buzz. Are you tired of going to YouTube or Google for answers to your home improvement questions? Maybe you have more projects than you have time. No matter where you are in the process, Pro93 Home Solutions is ready to serve you. Pro93 is a local, veteran-owned company offering residential and commercial remodeling, cleaning, and security. Contact us today at 458-4135 or online at pro93homesolutions.com. Let the pros at Pro93 find the solution for your home or business. That's 458-4135. Welcome back, everybody, to Home Solutions. 
We've been talking today. I've got Chris and Jesse here from the Pro 93 team. We're all here. We're talking about making some extra living space in your house, uh, whether it's for maybe you're taking maybe uh, uh, wanting to do a big remodel. Maybe you're wanting to add to the kitchen. Maybe you're wanting to add a master suite. Maybe you're wanting to move in an elderly parent uh, or you've got family that are coming to live with you. Whatever it is, that's what we're talking about. We spent the last sec- segment talking a little bit about uh, the reasons we're seeing so much of this recently. Uh, and um, we talked about basements and some of the things there. Uh, this the, what, the other big thing that we've been seeing lately and uh, is talking about additions. So when you're thinking about additions to your home, um, first and foremost, understand this. For, you know, the first thing you got to think of is permits. Um, typically home improvement project projects, the, the every County and every municipality is different, but I can tell you, if you are changing the footprint of your home, you have got to have a permit so we can handle that for you. But what comes with that is understanding what your setbacks are. And that means how far away from your, uh, property lines you have to be, um, wondering if, if for a lot of folks in Bradley County, you know, it's probably half and half as far as septic, utilities, you've got a, y- utilities, everything. you've got to know where you're, what you've got in your yard. You've got to know what's on your property. Um, that's probably going to mean a call to eight one one. Again, we can help you with all this after we get through the estimate process. Um, because you know, it's going to re- involve footers. It's going to involve new foundation and block. Um, so when you're planning this out, you want to think, okay, where are my field lines? That was kind of the first and foremost. If you've got a septic, where's my septic tank? Where's my field lines? I can't cover those up. Number two, um, you know, do you have any gas lines, power lines? Where is your water line come in from the meter at? Mm-hmm. All these things are things you need to think about. Um, it's when you're kind of plotting out what you're, what you're doing. Um, that said, once you get to that, you know, once you've kind of got that, um, you know, there are simple additions you can do without plans, but majority, if you're doing sort of, you know, hey, Chris, what, what's the break even for you? Maybe you get over a hundred, 200 square feet. It's probably time to call somebody to, yeah. to get drawings, get plans. Yes. Get plans. Um, and, and we've got a lot of connections here in town, local folks that do a great job. Do not charge an iron leg. You don't have to go to a lot of architecture firm in Chattanooga. There are folks right here in Cleveland that do great takeoff and, 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 and give us what we need to not only go to the city or county with, but also be able to bill, uh, you know, to kind of bid our material list. Mm-hmm. So the, from a paperwork <coughs> point of view, that's that's the that's what that's the biggest difference in maybe finishing a basement versus building an addition is these extra steps you've got to take with permits. Um, and the other thing is, and Jesse, you can talk about this is. It's going to change. There's a, the the effect it's going to have on the roof system, mm-hmm. and you're the you're the resident roof expert here. So when we're when we're looking at addition, what kind of things are you looking at when you go out to look at the roof and how we got a design to 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 make it look seamless like it's always been? There? Well, and a lot of that's going to end up being where your valleys are. Um, if you have a gable roof, if you have a lean to roof, um, you know where where's your main support structure coming from? Are there new beams? Are you taking walls out that are load bearing? Uh, which in effect is going to, you know, in tune uh, affect the roof system itself. Um, you know, and another thing too, I know we're talking about roofs, but going back into pulling permits, um, as going into additions, you need to give yourself some time for the process of inspections after we go in and start doing the work. Mm-hmm. Uh, once you pull a permit, now you've got other people involved with this to make sure that what is done and built is going to be inspected and cleared. And that's something your contractor does not control. Correct. And you'll see that it's in the fine print of our contract. Yeah. But just if we try to set as many expectations up front because our goal is a happy customer at the end. And there are times where, yeah, I'd love to tell you we can dig and pour footers in one day, but most municipalities require a footer inspection. We dig them, put the rebar in, frame them up. You got to wait for an inspector before you can pour concrete. And I'm going to say, too, some of the pitfalls in that as a customer, uh, looking at it from the standpoint of, of us as a business building it for you, we've got a lot of factors that contribute towards building. Um, weather has a lot to do with it. Mm-hmm. So if we've got weather issues and we need to pour footers, we've got to wait for dry days. And we know that thunderstorms right now in the summertime are huge. So we've got to work around the weather itself. And then once they're poured, then we got to wait on the inspection to come in. So I think 
I guess what I'm saying is the leniency that I would request from a customer flexibility flexibility from yeah. the customer goes a long way with the understanding that no no contractor out there can control the weather. No, um, you know we we are a contractor. We've tried. We <laughs> I pray about it daily. Yeah, um, especially as a roof uh, installer. But you know those are things that the flexibility goes a long way um, with with going in and building additions. That's just part of the process. Right. Yeah. And, and I think understanding that, and we try to do our best from your initial phone call to our office at 458-4135, or if you've hit the contact us and done the, the web lead there on our website at pro93homesolutions.com, whatever it is, you know, we try to set those expectations. Chris is going to talk to you about those things. Do you have drawings? You know, do you want to pull the permit? Do you want us to pull? These are all things that will work out. Um, a lot of places, what's really nice about Tennessee a lot of counties, a lot of cities will allow the homeowner to be a general contractor of their own project. Mm -hmm. Now, you're, when it comes to electrical, plumbing, you may have to get somebody to, to pull those permits. But as far as GC in your project, you can be the GC and hire us to run the rest of it. It really just depends on what you want to do. Uh, but Tennessee is a – it's a it listen, when you hear the horror stories in, in, in California, yeah. uh, you know, I know the comedian Bill Maher had a running joke that it took him almost four years just to put on some solar panels on his shed <laughs> because he had to get a permit first to build the shed. Mm -hmm. Then he had to get a permit for the solar. Then he had to get the permit for the electric – I mean – Folks, we could be in a worse place. Yeah. So, and, and the other thing is permits are not super expensive here. It's based on the value of the, pro of the project. project. Um, we will factor that into your price when we estimate that for you. So just understand that, that, that we take that. One thing else that's out there um, that has uh, come up before with us is that, you know, the other thing too is we can only estimate what we can see. When you're dealing with exterior walls, <clears throat> guess what? They're all load-bearing. If you've got a second level above that, we've got a, we, there's times where we may have to get a structural engineer involved, um, and that could run anywhere from $500 to $2,000 to $2,500. But we want to make sure, and you want to make sure, that you've got that stamp and seal that what was built to your house, just like the original construction, that, someone has, that somebody is signing off on those plans. And the reason is that there's got to be a beam put in there to take that, take that load, mm -hmm. And you, we need the structural engineer to tell us how to how to do that, right? Uh, because there's lots of you know it's one thing for us to say, hey, I think we know how to do this, yeah. But that ain't gonna work when the when the city or county comes, specter comes out and goes, why'd you do it this way? Mm -hmm. Then but when, tear it all down, and then tear it all down when we literally we can hand them a piece of paper with that with that state stamp that for says specs. the specs confirmed. the specs have been confirmed by an engineer, and literally they. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's the last question. So we can help you do all that due diligence. And here's the good news. Once we get through that process, and it's, you know, we tell customers this all the time. We get through that, that initial, the permitting, the first few inspections. Really, once we get into that, then we're just waiting for a final inspection at the end. So really, once we get past that level, we control everything. Mm -hmm. we, we know when our subs are going to be there. We know when our crew is going <clears> to <throat> be there. We can control getting your framed and, and tied in, getting the electrician going and getting the plumbing ran, whatever that is that we need to do for you, uh, we can get in and get rolling. And that's, that's on every project. That's kind of, the, I'm, I kind of handle logistics. So trust me on our company, I'm waiting for that. I'm just waiting where, okay, it's like, you're just, you're being held back, held back, held back. Cause you're, you're waiting on other people that you have no control over. And then suddenly it's like, release the hounds, mm -hmm. right? We can get to work and get wow. you done. So, um, but we're here to, to work through that process with you. Um, and I think, and what, look, there's a lot of great contractors in this town. We're friends with a lot of them. Make sure in your project that you have a contractor that you have a good relationship with, that you guys gel, that you guys get along. Because listen, there's going to be lots of phone calls. There's going to be days with multiple phone calls. You're going to get a call at work. You may get a call at night. Uh, you know, you're, you're going to be able, you're going to be able to, um, and most people can tell from the process. And I think one of the things that I love, the best things that I hear as an owner and the feedback we get is how many customers just in the last six months that because of the process of how we process our leads up front, set up the estimates, 
Chris is kind of anal about making sure he's there when he's calling you. If he if he's a little early, he'll call you. If he's running late, he'll call you. But he shows we show up when we say we're going to, and we do our best. <coughs> we do our best to get you an estimate within seven business days after we've been there, no matter how big or small the project. Now, and if there's t- things we're waiting on material wise to get bids on, Chris will call and stay in touch. But we have gotten so many projects where the customer says. Uh, I haven't even gotten another bid because I've appreciated dealing with you guys. Um, so Chris, talk a little bit when you're going out to these customers, what do you think, you know, other than you're just a swell guy, what do you think, (laughs) what do you think it is about, you know, what do you try to do to instill that trust with a customer? I just try to talk to them and see what their wants is basically and try not to, if they go into it with, well, you can't do this. I give them, options and listen to them and see what they want because at the end that's where they live yeah it's their house we, they got to live there we don't they got to live there yeah i can pick out whatever but they're the ones that has to has to deal with it yeah so i think it's it's one of those um people are being heard yeah they have a, actually say so what's being done yeah and folks remember too we're a general contractor licensed bonded insured <coughs> um you know uh, we, and, and we have a limit up for any project up to half a million dollars. So there's not much uh, in this town we can't we can't take on and understand that to, to the the vetting process we've had to go through as a company to get there. And I think that sets some people at those. Mm-hmm. You know, we joke around about the chucks in a truck. You know, you throw a magnet on the side of your truck and you're suddenly you're a contractor. Well, state of Tennessee and in Bradley County, that's a little different. The folks need to be licensed, folks. They need anything over twenty five hundred dollars. They need to be licensed uh, as at least a home improvement contractor. So, if, if you're out there, would I love everybody out there to call us and go do business with us? Absolutely. But there's a lot of great folks in town. There's a lot of great contractors. I'd encourage everybody do your research. Mm-hmm. Ask for references. Pictures. Uh, pictures show different things. I, we, we have, uh, honestly, we have gotten more jobs off word of mouth because our customers go on and put their beautiful new bathroom remodel on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, and we get a phone call or they're tagging us in the post from their friends. Um, so, you know, we, uh, our goal is to work with you through these projects and next to building a custom home an addition or finishing out a bunch of unfinished living area, is a pretty big, probably the biggest project you're going to do in your house other than build a new house. Right. Mm-hmm. So having somebody you can deal with, Jesse, what have you seen on, you know, because uh, part of that process for, I mean, you know, we, we kind of got the paperwork figured out the first part, but finishing a project, mm-hmm. what are the, th- some of the things that you've seen that have been successful for us and, you know, finishing a project and getting that final check and wrapping them up and having a customer be happy. What are some of the things that we do uh, to ensure we've got customers satisfied? Well, one of them, we we guarantee our work with warranties. Um, So I think that's a big, big, big selling point um, as us as contractors. And what that means would be when you're done with the project or you think we're wrapping up the project, we always go back through and do a walk, a walk through with a punch list. Um, and punch list is not a bad word to us. No, punch we list expect is a, it. We go through a big project that takes longer than a week or two or three. I mean, you're going to have a punch list that you have to go in and finish up. So um, a roll of blue painter's tape to go around and say, hey, we missed a spot here with maybe some paint. Check this baseboard out. Check this floor out. You know, those little things are huge for us to go back through um, and have a, uh, a walk through with the customer um, to finish out that project. So, folks, if you're thinking about these projects right now, Again, doesn't cost you a dime to give us a call, 458-4135. Check us out online, pro93homesolutions.com. We'll get, on, we'll get a hold of you, uh, schedule an estimate. Chris will come out um, in his pretty green truck and, uh, and, and give you an estimate. Whether you're looking for now or months in the future, and honestly right now that's perfect for our schedule, uh, but understand what would be involved in what you're looking for, and we would love to partner with you on that project. So, for uh jesse chris thank you guys very much for being here thanks for uh filling the time with us today folks we're ready to work for you and uh so listen you guys have a great week remember love your neighbor take care of your family and we're all in this together we'll see you guys next week you've been listening to home solutions right here on mix 104.1 and 101.3 the bus